All right, so we're gonna scan Teddy, uh, not just because he's super cute, but also because he's got the right dimensions and level of detail for what we're trying to replicate. So here's how it works. We just scan him on the phone. And that's about it. Right now, this takes some processing time, so we got it ready beforehand so we could check it out. Oh, wow. The level of detail in this is impressive. You can kind of see all these fine elements of it, like each individual strand of its hair. And you can even see through the semi-transparent bow tie that he has on. It's pretty awesome. So here we used a, a different technique called inverse rendering to scan an object into its digital twin and then bring it into augmented and virtual reality. And it responds dynamically to the lighting in the VR environment. And you know when you throw it in the air uh, against a wall or if you bounce it off the ground, it's gonna respond the same way that the physical object would. So we use Spark to put the virtual object next to the physical one here. They're almost identical. 